Hey, this is Rick from Hiking Emergency Beacon, and I want to do a really short comparison here between two products, and uh, it is the Garmin InReach GPS Map 66i, which I have right here, versus the Montana 700i or 750i. I don't have it on me. I'm putting screenshots up. My buddy Mike from Mike and Rick Outdoors, um, he has the 700, and that's why I'm doing a little bit of a comparison. Um, I don't have it physically on me. I may buy it in the future, uh, but I want to talk to you about it uh, briefly and the differences and why you might go to go for one or, or the other. But before we get into all that, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on not notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as I put out a new video. So what happened was uh, we had a fishing trip. Mike and I went on a fishing trip about five days uh, here in Colorado um, by Deckers and over also by uh, Lake George. And... We had um, communication issues. We knew we were going to have them because uh, we, I knew we, cell service was um, hit and miss, uh, mostly miss out there. And uh, so, so he got one. And um, so we started arguing. I've done my research. I own like 10 or so different satellite messengers. That's all I do here on Hiking Emergency Beacon. Of course, you know, I know everything, right? Um, and so he starts like giving me grief about what I'm advice I'm giving him uh you know because he's a long time friend I'm like you jerk you know listen to me you're gonna end up with whatever uh quit doing what you're doing um uh, he's actually making me a bit mad Mike if you're watching this video sorry we're good friends you know family and friends get over being mad at each other anyway um we had a great trip after that and we had a <laughs> we're not mad at each other anymore so anyway it was just irritating me that one night so um so he starts looking at it and, and he he chooses the montana 700 now he actually sent the montana 700 back because he found out the 750i the montana 750i uh you can take uh, photos with and then you can well i don't know if it's geocaching or gps located you can locate those uh, uh, photos um by where you took them by GPS or coordinate. Um, so what we got into, um, both of these, uh, both Montana 700i and 750i and the um, 60 uh, GPS map 66i, they're all in reach devices. So they, um, one of the main, main primary things they do is communication. Not just that, SOS, uh, it's about being able to be found, be able to communicate, stay safe when you're outdoors. Also be able to see maps and see where you're at, uh, weather, etc. So, um, like I said, I said I was going to make this short, right? So, what he came down with was, he, w I just got to explain this real quick. He chose the 700i because it had a very big screen and it was touchscreen. This is not touchscreen. So like he can do, he could touchscreen and he can do a message and touch and type on his screen just like you would on a phone. You really like that. Uh, it's twice as big and twice as heavy. And I'm like, I don't want to pack that. But he bought an ATV and he's, the way he uses it is, he doesn't go on long hikes. He'll throw, he'll use it and he'll go fishing and he's always near his vehicle or he's taking a short, real short hike to get into an area to go fishing. That's how he uses it. So after me being irritated and going, what do you, why aren't you listening to me? What are you doing? Right? Um, finally, I understood what he was kind of going at and what was important to him. That's also why when somebody asks me questions on here or wants to, sometimes some people will like arguing with me about one versus another or why, uh, why do I want to see a map on a device? Um, when you can do a map a different way and you can use the app, this and that, I'm like, yeah, okay, there's so many different things. Uh, ways you can use a, a device. I personally like a certain way to use them, right? So it's it should never be about an argument. If I ever get in an argument with you, I apologize. Which I never mean to do that. It should always come down to how you use it. What's important to you? All the functions or lack of functions. What, what do you what do you like? Well, how do you use it? What's important, right? So after about a two three days of him researching, I finally had to admit that. I don't know everything, right? And that for him, the Montana Tana 700 not I, and now the 750, because he returned it, he bought the 750i. That is by far the best satellite messenger for him. So um, a lot of times he's going to have it strapped to his ATV or he's going to have it mounted inside his vehicle and when he's driving. Uh, so that's great. Um, 
but but so the, the, this I said was a review comparison the comparisons um, there's no reason to compare a lot of different things like um, messaging weather um, maps because they're very similar his map does look a little different and I'll show you a map on some screenshots here um, he does uh, he has the ability to on the screen to do the um, uh, touch screen and type on screen that's a pretty big difference it's a lot faster for him to message than for me when I have to use these arrows to get around the screen unless it's my phone I have my phone with me and it is synced then but I'm just as fast as he is uh, so that th those are some big differences um, but 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 other things you know like how how it messages uh, or what the weather looks like they're the same because it's uh, an inReach Garmin inReach device uh, so the, another thing too this is the way they're actually similar they both don't have very good battery life um, he says that his battery life is better than 66i I'll put the specs on the screen I beg to differ um, even though like his uh, battery life uh, shows it being slightly longer but only like a day and a half right maybe two days tops this one i believe goes longer if you uh, do things to um, reduce how you're using it uh, you're not tracking as much you're not checking messages as much you're not uh, using your map as much i think it can go up to 200 hours i believe and i don't believe that the uh, 700 the montana 700i or 750i would do that i think those are really meant um, for uh, when you're in a vehicle and you're four-wheeling or your ATV, I think you plug it in and it stays charged. You don't have to worry about the battery because it's it's not meant to have a long battery life because you're not out walking with it. It's so big and cumbersome. Um, so anyway, that's what he bought. He bought the 700i. Uh, it works for him and it's the right decision for him. Um, I have the 66i. But I'm uh, just giving you a fair warning here. I'm probably going back to my Mini 2 as my number one uh, satellite messenger when I'm out doing stuff and not reviewing it, right? Um, because when I'm out, so I, I use uh, when I do reviews, I, I, I have carry a lot of different messengers with me. Um, but when I'm uh, out doing stuff here in Colorado and I'm not reviewing them, this is what I probably will be carrying because it has a long battery life. I love being able to pull my phone out and just look at it, big screen. Uh, convenience. It's really about convenience for me. Um, and I, I just, for me, it works better. I like it better. So um, back to the differences here between the 66i and the 700i and 750i. Um, it's really how it's designed to be used, right? So just, just be aware. Battery life, um, how you use it, uh, how, you, how big it is. <clears throat> the functions do you do you want a touch screen um are you mainly using it for four-wheeling or are you more backpacking and hiking you know so leave a message below if you have a question i'll, I'll try to direct you uh, to uh, certain messengers if you, you have a priority or um, something that's more important than uh, uh than somebody else um, i will not argue with you uh, do my very best not to do that and to just ask questions and figure out what's important for you right that's the most important thing what's the right messenger for you because there's not one right messenger for everybody all right that's it uh probably not that short of a video but um short enough for me so uh thanks for joining me here on hiking emergency beacon and please like subscribe share and turn on notifications so you'll be uh, alerted as soon as i put out new videos and i will see you back out here in, Col in colorado <clears throat> sure can't talk very well can i and I will see you back out here in Colorado next time.